Have you or someone you know always wanted to work at Burger King? I don't think so. <laughs> I think that's more of a, oh, there's no other jobs left. So today we're going to be watching a Burger King training video. And yes, I did get this idea from Jack, but my friend told me about um, them had to watch a training video when they um, started working at Burger King. So there's that. So we're going to watch one, <laughs> see how that goes. Because I was going to, um, well, I did record the game, but 30 minutes of it, nothing happened. I don't know what's wrong with it. 30 minutes of absolutely nothing. I don't know why I just liked the video. I don't, I'm not even, I don't know. Andy. Hold the Fuck, uh, okay, 480 is like the top it. Oh we are God. here with Chaz, the champion. <laughs> What's his name? Chaz? Burger King. If anybody knows anything about Burger King closing, it is Chaz. Chaz, we want to know first off what it is you value about <laughs> Fucking nice mouth, dude. Burger Fuck. King. What do I value about Burger King? Yes, what is it that you. Why do you do this job, Chaz? Well, oh, it's definitely. Uh, I enjoy working with the public and pleasing them. Go! Get out of here! Do you have any thoughts as far as um, how to run even... drive through Is there a proper way to uh, run the drive through Well, you just, uh... There's no way this is fucking real. As fast as you can. <laughs> Are you courteous Speed. or...? Speed. Well, speed's important. That's the most important thing. I don't... This is... I don't, this is not real. This is not a real training video. <laughs> <laughs> I agree. That is true. I'm sure the customers agree with you too. Um, as far as closing goes, um, any special way you go about closing, or is there anything that you can do to give people hints, like what they should definitely do, so the openers aren't angry with them in the morning? Or? Well, you want to make sure that uh, ice is always done. Jason, go change the ice. God damn it! Just stock sauces. They're gonna get pretty angry with you. Um, basically, just make sure everything is stocked. Just stocked. Yeah. They don't have any like complaints about like tables or anything in the morning or well, something make sure special. That, well, make sure that there's no like for instance, uh, you can't have any sesame seeds in any corners. Because that, that's a very important thing, you know. Okay. There's no way this is fucking real. It's, it's, this is not fucking real. Does Burger King have training videos? Like... Like official training videos. 80s training video, that's... No, that's not Burger King. Wendy's training video, the fry guy. I wanna look at that. God. 2007. The quality is such ass. What the fuck? 2007. I'm pretty sure they had better cameras. Oh my god. My eyes hurt looking at this. Hey yo, I got a little story about a dude like me. I love cooking French fries that you all might eat. I make them nice and hot and guaranteed to please. When everybody strolls up inside my Wendy's, you can have them as How does one be the fry guy and yet drive a Hummer? Me thinks he may be selling drugs on the side. Okay, so... My dad actually used to work at Hardee's, so I want to watch this one. Hardee's five-star service. Hello and welcome. Today we'll explore the meaning of five-star service and how we can provide it to every guest, every time. 
We'll also see why five-star service is so critical in setting us apart and taking us to that next level of superior guest service. Not too long ago, we implemented Operation QSC at our restaurants. New managerial techniques were introduced to teach managers how to take charge of the restaurant by pathing, coaching, and directing the crew. We also introduced scripting, table service, comment cards, and a guest recovery process. As a result, our guests have enjoyed a dramatic improvement in quality, service, and cleanliness. Now it's time for us to take Operation QSC to the next level. We are committed to provide every guest with five-star service every time. Why do we call it five-star service? Well, have you ever heard of the five-star burger? No. We raised the standard in the quick-serve restaurant industry with this sit-down restaurant-style burger. Okay, so Hardee's has the, like, one of the best burgers. Then again, it also depends on where it's at, okay? Um, it's because I've been to a Hardee's where I was not a big fan of the sandwich. It was undercooked. The bread was it. No. <laughs> so, uh, but majority of the time, Hardee's burgers are, like, really good. Buttered buns and, mm, I want Hardee's now. Now, we want to match our guest service with the quality of our menu. Five star service should feel like a full service sit down restaurant with no wait for a table and no tip required. Best of all, five star service makes each guest feel genuinely welcome and appreciated. That's how five star service turns every guest experience from very good to really great. At the heart of five star service is a change in our behavior. It's simple, really. While we go about our everyday task of preparing food, serving guests, and keeping our restaurant sparkling clean, every manager and every crew person looks for opportunities to provide five-star service. There are two main points to remember. The first is, when a crew person or manager comes within 10 feet of our guest, they make eye contact, smile, and offer a friendly greeting. We call it the 10-foot rule. The second point, once a guest is seated... Well, now that's a good thing because now we have to stay six feet apart. So, it's called social distancing. They should never have to get up unless they're going to the restroom or leaving. Five-star service means that while we go about completing our normal tasks, we are always anticipating the needs of our guests and then fulfilling them. Offering drink refills and clearing tables, for example. So what does five-star service look like? Well, first, let's see an example of what a typical guest experience might be before five-star service. <laughs> the squeaking of the windows. The... <laughs> oh, no. Hi, how can he I didn't say you? hello. I like a number two combo. Would you like to upsize that to a medium or large? No, that's okay. I've got a number two combo. Will you be eating here? Sure. Okay, your total comes at 529, please. Here's your cup. Help yourself to the beverage bar and set your number at the edge of your table and we'll bring it out as soon as it's ready. Thank you. Thank you. Sir, you did not pay. From a guest perspective, this experience would probably be rated as very good. The cashier did a nice job. The correct scripting combined with eye contact, a smile and a sincere tone make all the difference in the world. Now taking this to the next level with five star service means everyone must participate in the process. Every manager and every crew person. Let's try this guest experience once more from the beginning. Okay, but he did not welcome him. He did not say, hello, welcome to Hardee's. Okay, that's not quite right. The beginning of the guest experience doesn't start at the entry door. Let's take it back a bit more. Our guest experience really starts when they enter our parking lot. That's when five-star service starts. Keeping a clean, well-maintained exterior and parking lot 
is a good way to show our guests that we care. If a manager or crew person encounters a guest within the 10 foot rule while outside, we make eye contact, smile, and offer a simple greeting or a friendly wave. Around the entryway, remember, take care of the guest. Stop whatever you're doing to hold the door for any guests that are arriving. Greet each guest with a big smile and give them your full attention. Hello, how are you doing today? He learned! Oh, I'm so proud of him. Thanks. Did you just shake his head? Hi, like, how can I help you? That's me whenever people come into my work. <laughs> I shake my head like, fucking people. Would you like to upsize that to a medium or large? No, that's okay. I've got a number two combo. Will you be eating here? Sure. Okay, your total comes at 529, please. I feel like her name Even is Tiffany. Even from the back line, you can provide five-star service. Eye contact and a friendly gesture is all that's needed to show the guests that you care. Here's your cup. Help yourself to the beverage bar and set your number at the edge of your table, and we'll bring it out as soon as it's ready. Thank you. Thank you. It's important to be alert for any guests in need. Stop whatever you're doing and respond right away. Even before the food arrives, you can see how five-star service turns our guest experience from good to great. Every manager and crew person is tuning in to the needs of the guests. Here are more ways for you to provide five-star service. At the drive through you should follow scripting, of course, but remember that a smile in your voice is just as important as the one on your face. Hi, my name's Angie. How can I help you? Allow the guests plenty of time to place their order with confidence. Then, confirm the order. Most of all, be sincere and cheerful on that headset and at the window. You'll make the guest in the drive through feel just as welcome and appreciated as the one in the dining room. Okay, but when she <laughs> opened the, um, uh, when she was, when he first pulled up to the drive through she, she was like, Hello, welcome to Hardee's. How may I help you all? Do you guys want some good food? Okay, is that a cheeseburger? Would you like your buns toasted? Okay, please vote to the first window. Fucking asshole. Thanks for coming and have a great day. At times, you may have a slight delay in service. Acknowledging the waiting guest lets them know that we care. It'll be just a minute while we make it fresh for you, but it'll be worth your wait. Guests eating in the dining room still provide the largest opportunities to provide oh we deliver the food right to the table with a warm greeting i don't know what Hi. the hell happened hey. here's your thick burger combo right thanks can i get you anything else with that sure i'll take some ketchup did she say thick burger Ooh, i want a thick burger okay how many did you need uh two of them two yeah there you go. Great, thanks. This should be a common card on the table. Let us know how we're doing today. Sure. Okay, enjoy your meal. Thanks. We offer further assistance and invite them to fill out a comment card. This shows them that we truly value their opinion. Whenever you're in the dining room, scan nearby tables for a chance to provide five-star service on your way back to the counter. Hi, can I get you guys a refill? What were you drinking? Great, I'll be right back. She didn't even tell her what she was drinking. So, uh, what were you drinking? Ah, piss? Alright, I'll go get you more. As our guests complete their meal, we can make each guest experience personal by conducting a quick product check on the specific menu item they've ordered. On every trip to the dining room, your five-star service can include offering refills, clearing tables as necessary, and offering dessert. A great dining experience including drive through and to-go orders, involves more than reciting a script and providing hot, fresh food. Remember the main points of five-star service. When a crew person or manager comes within 10 feet of our guest, they make eye contact, smile, and offer a friendly greeting. Once guests are seated, they should never have to get up unless they are going to the restroom or leaving. We anticipate the needs of our guests and make it a priority to fulfill them. Five star service. Think you got it? Let's chow. Five star service isn't just greeting the guest. It starts Five in the parking lot. Drop everything greeting the guest do. with eye contact and a warm smile. 
Five star service isn't a program, a list of procedures or tasks. Yes, it is. It's literally a list of procedures and tasks. You see them, you smile, you greet them. It's a procedure. You, sir, you're a liar. Shut up, I don't trust you anymore. It doesn't replace manager pathing or the nine steps of guest recovery. Five star service simply enhances guest service and takes us to a new level. Five star service isn't just spending all of your time in the dining room, greeting guests and offering refills. Five star service is covering the basic elements of Operation QSC first, while looking for opportunities to provide our guests that special attention they won't find anywhere else. Ooh, I didn't to like our the aesthetic. Five star service is a warm smile, a friendly greeting, an unbeatable hospitality. Five star service is our commitment to make every guest feel truly welcome and appreciated because they are. Thanks for stopping by. You have a great day, okay? Five He's star a manager. Service sets us apart wait 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 why is he telling him bye if he is he not the manager okay so that was 2004 but if he's the manager then why is the guy saying oh thank you for stopping by have a nice day goodbye he's he's the manager is he not the if he's not the manager then why is he instructing me i don't understand uh Uploading virus. Nice. Hardy's training video. No, we're not going to watch that. Maybe if it wasn't such a long video, then, you know. Okay, well, that's going to do it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed it, be sure to leave a like, drop a comment. And if you guys want more training video reactions or something like that, I don't know. I don't care. Leave a like, drop a comment, and please subscribe. Ring the bell. You guys will be notified when I upload future videos. And I'll see you guys in the next one.